A significant development in the investigation of a deadly shooting at UNM involving a New Mexico State basketball player. That player, Mike Peak, has been suspended indefinitely from the team. Police say Peak shot and killed UNM freshman Brandon Travis after Travis shot at him. Until now, there's been very little revealed about Peak's future with New Mexico State or if he'll face criminal charges. Lauren Green has been following this case and Lauren, a lot coming out today. Yeah, so there is, as you mentioned, a New Mexico State's athletic department. Well, they confirmed to us today that basketball player Mike Peak has been suspended indefinitely from the team, not from school. It's just strictly athletics. So this suspension comes nearly three weeks after his involvement in the deadly shooting on UNM's campus. 21 year old Peak was recently released from the hospital and police say he was treated for a non life threatening gunshot wound to the leg. Now, here's a refresher of all the events that took place in the last few weeks. Investigators say four UNIM students conspired to lure Peak to UNIM's campus and ambush him. Police say one of these, one of those three hit Peak with a bat and 19 year old Brandon Travis pulled a gun on Peak, but Peak fired back with his own gun, shooting and killing Travis. Now, according to court documents, the setup was to get revenge on Peak for allegedly beating up Travis during a brawl at the UNM and MSU football game earlier this year in Las Cruces. Right now, 19 year old Jonathan Smith and 17 year old a 17 year old girl are facing charges in this shooting and Smith is out of jail living with his mother in Texas and the NMSU chancellor and athletic director addressed the public on this incident for the first time two weeks ago and as of last week here was the latest from NMSU athletic director Mario Mocha. As we work through, you know, obviously an active investigation and uh, the campus continues to um, evaluate some things, um, you know, we'll still afford people due process even if, you know, the sentiment is not uh, for that by the general public. So right now, the state police are leading the investigation on this while working with the district attorney's office. Now, we reached out to both state police and the DA's office. State police confirmed that Peak has not been charged with the crime. And while state police gather more evidence and information, it ultimately will be up to the district attorney whether any charges will be filed. And guys, in the midst of it all, NMSU has a game tonight in Las Cruces. So their head coach could be addressing all of this in their postgame press conference. And as always, we'll keep you updated as we learn more. Back to you. Lauren, thank you. And following this shooting, UNM says they are adding security measures for games, and that begins tomorrow. Fans will pass through metal detectors when entering the pit. They're just like the ones you see at Isotopes and NM United games. Now, you'll have to take anything metal out of your pockets, too. And of course, the clear bag policy is still in place. The undefeated Lobos face off against Western New Mexico tomorrow night.